three-time author. It's from political commentator to three-term state legislator, from a banquet and nightclub MC to television, radio host, and award-winning international speaker who has spoken on four continents. Awarded by Toastmaster International as one of the world's top five speakers and the recipient of the Golden Gavel Award. Stand to your feet, McAllen. Put your hands together and help me welcome someone who envisions for you that you might envision for yourself. Maybe my round baby boy, Mr. Man. Keep it going, keep it going for Mr. Les Brown! Thank you. Thank you so much. You may be seated. I am so glad to be here, way behind God's back. It took us so long to get here. My goodness, but I am so glad. And, and one of the exciting things about it, let's give Terrence a round of applause, please. Come on, bring me energy level. Bring me energy level. And Shamir and Veronica, give them a round of applause. Did y'all get a chance to see Ruben? Yes, yes, give Ruben a round of applause. Yeah. You know, how many of you speak Spanish in here? Raise your hands, please. Oh, this is the whole room of it here. <laughs> Un poquito. <laughs> but my, my first Latino, uh, 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 my first Latino, which is the Hispanic or Latino, Latino, which is the most correct term politically? Either one? Okay, Latino, okay? So, the several years ago, PBS, I've done like eight PBS specials, and so they called me to do another special in Phoenix. So I said, you know, I've had a good run. I said, do you know there's a large Latino population in America who pay taxes? He said, yes. I said, PBS is funded by their taxes as well as everybody else. I said, yes. So I said, I would like to come on, and I'd like to bring one of my speakers, John Garcia. No, we just want you. I said, I understand that. And I've trained him, and he's very good. So I've done this, and I'd like for him to be with me. He is my homie. They <laughs> said, no, we just want you. I said, OK. Take it easy. I'm not interested. I hung up. So they used another guy. I forgot this guy's name. He said, you broke because you want to be. He wrote that book, you know. And they did that special, and it didn't sell. So they come coming back very humble. Hello, Mr. Brown. Yes. What's his name again? <laughs> I John Garcia. He's your homie? I said, yes. He said, the two of you can come on. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to send you that video. It's the first PBS special where you will see. Have you ever seen a, a, a Latino on, on PBS? No, but you will see it now. I did this PBS special in Phoenix. So just say, Les Brown, send me the video, and I have a story. And put that in there, and I'll know where it's from. And it's um, my personal video, Les Brown 77, my personal email. LesBrown77 at gmail.com. You're going to really get a lot of value out of this. You're going to love it because you'll see many of the principles that I train on. How many of you are speakers in here? Raise your hands, please. Just a few. How many like to earn money speaking? Raise your hands, please. How many of you have a story? Raise your hands, please. Very good. How many of you have a major goal that you want to achieve? Raise your hands, please. Very good. Good. How many of you know if you had your life to live over again, you could have done more than what you've done thus far? Raise your hands, please. That proves the point that what we do and what we accomplish in life is only a tip of the iceberg 
of what's possible for us. I want you to shake someone's hand on your right and left, look them in the eyes and say, you have greatness and you do that right now. And be sincere, say you have greatness in you. Very good. I don't know you, but here's what I know about you. You have greatness in you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. Is that 